Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Be three, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna bang my buck in the episode one. Yeah, you gotta talk to her. Cause where is the mother? Like, come on. <clears throat> My check, my check. Okay, there you go. change the name of this, this video. Still just trying to change it up a little bit. This thing. I didn't see none of my tags, I just added it. There we go, I did. <clears throat> Alright, let's get it started. How many times must I Wait. tell you? Wait, what? You must never put your life on the line for what? me. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, what that but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Jay, without you your mother, 
Hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Your hand, Christophe von Wulner, Minister of Religious Affairs, and Jacques Perrou, French Revolutionary Tribunal Hello. Judge. Hello. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. I do apologize for being late. I was obliged to clear up some urgent business. I kind of was just picking, yes? I kind of was just picking any one of these, the first year. It's in mom's room in the, in the dresser. Okay. Thought you guys were going upstairs. So, this would give me three skill points. Dang, okay, so that's why you want to collect these. So, okay, I already kind of knew that, but I'm getting refreshed in the next few days. That's one. That's one. Hold up, hold up, I gotta look that up, cause I forgot what, whatever it is, where it is, where it is, means. Erudition. Erudition, I was close, I was gonna say irritation, but I know it wasn't irritation, that's like something to do with, like, the environment. Thank well, you. I have it, showing, thank you. Great knowledge. You wanna light it? Learning. Oh, the front, you can't reach the front door, can you? I don't know where my little my incense holder is. Right here. Put it, you put it right here. Okay. Manipulation. I'm already pretty high at manipulation. I don't even do that well, so I kind of don't want to use manipulation. Conviction is very high already too. Cause you didn't give it a chance to burn. It has to turn red. Like, look at the tip of it, it'll start turning red. Yep. That's what we call a cherry. Yep. Called, like, cinnamon, no, like the red part cherry. is the cherry. Like, whenever you see it lit on a fire or something, yep. it has a nice cherry. It's a smoker term. No, no, I understand. Yeah. And the Nazis and French Revolution. <laughs> Politics, logic, and etiquette. My etiquette is pretty hard too. I'm gonna get logic because I definitely rock with the logic for sure. You gotta make sense. And the politics, I kinda wanna know about the politics. Manipulation is very hard, very conviction. I think I don't have to use this one right now. I think I'm not gonna use it. The last one I would kinda wish I had one. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to it. I definitely want the logic. I should have been for it for that I love this game. At last we meet, game. Monsieur de Richet. Do you mind if I call you Louis? Please do. Thank you. I wish to apologize wholeheartedly, Louis. I made you cross the seas, and I wasn't even here to welcome you. When I asked you to join us here, it was, of course, in the hope that you would help us find your mother. However, there may be some new developments, but I, I don't know if they are linked to your mother. We have found Elizabeth Adams' body in her room. I'm afraid she was brutally murdered, stabbed several times. Oh, what? What? Hold on. How could he just say these things? What? Hold on. <laughs> How they start this episode off like this? Yeah, we about to get vulnerable. I forgot which one it was. We about to get vulnerable with him. Hold on, bro. Oh, I can't? Duchess Hillsborough informed us that she accompanied you at the beginning of the evening. You apparently bumped into Miss Adams, who wanted to speak to you. We are told you turned her away 
And she went away on her own? That's correct. Do you know what she wanted to see you about, by any chance? Not in the least. Pity. The poor child was probably trying to find help. I thought help. it could wait until tomorrow. Yeah, like, I'm hmm. busy, bro. Apparently I'm not. Yeah, whatever. Louis, I shan't hide the fact that this tragedy puts me in a very delicate situation. I cannot risk upsetting the smooth operation of our next conference. But the case cannot remain unaddressed. I must reassure my guests, and justice will be done. And for that to happen, I must ask for your help. Why is that? You met Elizabeth. You spoke together, I believe. She trusted you. Listen, Louis. Find out who could have committed this murder. I refuse to believe that one of my guests is the murderer. I want to know who is responsible for this. And I trust you. You have my backing. You must stop at nothing. Can I count on you? Of course. Oh How would you like me oh, to proceed? Me Maybe you could start by going to the scene of the crime. No, no. Elizabeth was attacked in her room. Can you tell me anything else about what happened? Now, Louis, I wouldn't want to influence you. Get over there and form your own opinion. What? Can you tell me anything else about what happened? Now, Louis, I wouldn't what? want to influence you. He, Get over there and form your own opinion. This is bad. Went up to bed. Right. I'll get over there immediately. Thank you, Louis. Now, once you've finished, come back and let me know your findings. I'll be waiting. Oh, I can see where this is going. And Louis, you've got permission to search through the guests' rooms. I ain't gonna lie. They've all been notified and they I'm agree. I'm gonna try to get in a way where I can keep him close to me, but at the same time, he know I'm like watching. Oh my gosh, look at all this space I gotta put down and find something. Yeah. So I'm definitely about to walk every little bit of this space and see what I come up with. This game is fine, look. I'm not about to do this. Hmm, which four letter word could open this chest? Four letter word open this chest. What is this game doing? <clears throat> um, what? I'm literally just staring at it. is somewhere like trying to use this A and I feel like it's right there somewhere I should know what this is. That's it. This is where it looks weird. I feel like it could be like N and the switch to N and the S. Lars Rands. No. Oh, wait, what? Uh, e. Hold up. Wait, what? Change the third letter to an E. What are they talking about? Change the first letter to a Z. What? C E. Man. 
what are they talking about? They don't even have like a clue. I'll probably, I'll probably find one. Give me that. Yes. Definitely need those because I definitely misuse those all the time. Don't need these. Don't need nothing that I don't use. Oh. I don't know. I don't want to walk the direction of the story. I don't know who is listening. Me or Wixen and Dixie, but that is disgusting. This game is already with Kiki. I like these. These are those ones. I need to be ready for a conversation. <laughs> this game. Key with an occult water symbol? Okay, gotta be this one. I, I was about to go straight to this one. I knew I had this one already. Earth, I forgot I had this earth, but I'm looking at it like what? See, this is early when I got this and I didn't even earth water and I didn't even use it yet. And the other episode I broke into a case for I think I broke into a case for this one. That's why I still have it. And then I went to try and break into another one. Dante's That's why I started. purgatory. Why does your mind presume to fly when you're still like the imperfect grub, That's the, the worm it. before it's attained its final form? <clears throat> Charlie, Dante's Purgatory. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub, the worm before it's attained its final form? Charming. Dante's Purgatory. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub, the worm before it's attain its final form. Hmm, which four-letter word okay. could open this chest? Alright, um... So I can go downstairs, investigate Adam's death. Let's go this way now. I do keep going by the books. That's a fact. Where are the books my way is at? Hmm. Two out of two, see my conviction is pretty much done. The version adequate. I definitely need to debunk that. I probably should. This to be a master in my class. Oh. Bookworm, there we go. Oh, okay. There we go. So that's actually my first. No, that's not my first one. You, you can equip one extra major. Yo, that is so good. Okay. You gain two skill points. Actually really good to have like wow the effort points pool increased by one 
Oh, this was the beach level farm. At. Really? I was. I must have got that earlier. Game one, two, three, vigilance. Make a dialogue choice twenty times before the end of the time. Oh, uh, see. Dang, I didn't realize that was twenty times. Already. Decrease your effort points to zero. Don't shush. You don't gotta be quiet, guys. Don't do that, James. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? To, to say, why would you tell him shush? You shush. Don't tell him shush. Don't do that. Decrease your effort points to zero during the quest. Uncover all the Napoleon Donapods, communities, and vulnerabilities. So I said, John, you gain one skill point in conviction. Game of skill point agility. Decrease your effort points to zero. Game one skill point agility. Decrease effort to zero during a quest. Oh, okay, so dang, they gave you a point just for that? <laughs> wow, that is too funny. I don't even want to read these because I know I'm going to cover all. He said, why are you telling him shush when you walk past? Don't do something like that. It's like you got grandmother doing. You stop stretching it out. Thank you. You see now? You, I need to probably put grease. I ain't put no grease in your head. Your grandma put grease in your head the other day, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. I need to take it out and do it. Dad, this tight ass nut. Yeah. I know that feels good. It's right. I, did, I used to do the same thing. That's all glad I'm going my hair back out. The only reason why I did this because. I don't want to hear it. You, you did that because I know why you did it. You just. You know I was on the game and you, wanted, you didn't want to be loud. Don't do that. No, no, no. No, no, that was the reason. It was because James, That was the reason. He was just like a no, spider. Because I never told y'all to shush before. No. Nope. 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 And then I turned. This shirt is on backwards. That's all the way up on your neck. You don't feel that? You just pulled it down. You just pulled it down. And it went right back to choking you. It went right back to choking you. Because he was trying to help you because he was choking you. He saw it was choking you. The shirt's on backwards. He was showing you the shirt is backwards. It's on backwards. He was telling you. He told you, but choking you. The shirt was choking you, and he was choking you. He was trying to show you that you were being choked by your shirt. You didn't tell him. You're the older brother. He was trying to tell you. Well, you failed. When y'all don't listen, you failed. That's that's what I tell y'all. You gotta listen to me. Oh, now it's his fault. <laughs> Got it. Oh, look at you. Now, look how much. Wow, look how much chest is out now. Touch it, touch uh, your neck. Touch your neck. That's why I do it. Your neck can breathe. They say this man whole name, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I think I did too when I was younger. That's so funny that you st y'all still saying Dwayne the Rock Johnson, and I was saying his name when I was in the fourth grade too. I was watching wrestling third, fourth, fifth grade. I was watching wrestling. That was when the Rock the Rock was out. The Rock. That was when the Rock was out with Stone Cold Steve Austin, Undertaker, and all these other ones you've never heard of, Jeff Hardy and them. Yeah, I was watching that stuff. That's when Pokemon was first out. That's when I first started watching it. Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Static Shock. Pretty much all the shows I show y'all now is the same stuff I watched then at that age. Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't watch Naruto, but Naruto was out. Your mother watched Naruto. I didn't watch that. But that was out. 
2009. No, it wasn't. It was out when I told you. 2000. Mm-mm. 2002? Maybe Naruto was out a little bit later, but um, one of those other anime shows was out. This was like... Nineteen ninety nine. I'm talking about ninety eight, not ninety nine, ninety eight, two thousand, two thousand one, two thousand two, somewhere around there. That's where I was. I was eight years old in nineteen ninety eight. Shut up, Cecilia. <laughs> uh, is that a problem? <laughs> yo, why are you laughing at me, yo? You know you. I was eight years old in 1998. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Yo, I had so much fun at eight. That is so funny, y'all laughing. Your mother was eight years old in 1998 too. <laughs> Who else is here? Okay, let's go. I get it. <laughs> That's funny. How old was it? That's a good thing, man. Y'all kids is crazy. You just really started cracking up. Well, I told y'all I was eight in 1998. <laughs> yeah, you was look. You was born in 2000. That's what you all. That's all you know is 2000. That's all y'all any y'all kids know. Y'all lucky this. Y'all blessed to still have us around and tell oh, you about okay, how it was say, before the internet. Y'all blessed to have somebody tell you how it was before the internet. Oh, also, oh, oh, oh before say, iPads. Did you say hello to um? You act like it was everything was. Like how y'all really think everything the internet was always like this? Like that's no, crazy. No, no. Good, good. That's really good because it was not always like this. Like it just it wasn't. Really was not like like with the yeah, internet, with had... searching it up in your house like this, a laptop everywhere. It was a bigger, way bigger laptops. Laptops was expensive. When I was a kid, nobody, there wasn't oh, no laptops so when I was younger. Chips was twenty five cent. Don't be disrespectful. <laughs> One small bag of chips was twenty five cent. Now look, they a dollar twenty five. You get a little bit more chips, but don't, remember, you know the little yeah. bags that mommy bought, the big box. Right? The big one with the little ones inside? One of those little ones was 25 cents. Then he used to put them in the store. Because you know how he sold them? That same box. He put that box on the shelf. And then he'll open the plastic up and you'll go in there and get which one you want. And go to the counter with eight of them. Two dollars. Yep. And get a sandwich for another dollar fifty. A sandwich for a dollar fifty. In the morning time, breakfast, I'm talking about. Like eggs, bacon. Good ass stores, sandwich. I thought those stores were a dime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See? Also, and those kids, <laughs> if, it's a, if it's 29 cents, they have to have, if they say, a quarter. See, if I was playing Overwatch, we wouldn't be talking about no old stuff. But I'm playing this old game, and now I don't know why he's coming at me. Yo, I think I cut my, my finger. First, um, First what? He just started cracking up somebody when he laughed at 1998. That is so funny. I don't even really remember 1998. I just remember how much fun I had being eight years old. I just remember being eight because that number is my favorite number. I remember like I remember going. 2058. Mhm. See, I remember going to GameStop at eight and walking around and not knowing what games was coming out because you couldn't see it on the computer, on the phone, on the TV. They didn't put they didn't put it online. There was no online. No, wait, they didn't put it on commercials. The games I like wasn't on commercial. You had to go to GameStop and get the book to see what was coming out, right? You see what I'm saying? The music, I, was, I wasn't I was buying music at eight years old, but I think I was buying music probably like next, maybe like 10, some, when was I buying music? Like 11 years old. I think when I bought my first, I don't even remember what my first album was. I know the stuff I bought. I remember everything I bought before, but I don't remember what the first thing I bought was, though. But yeah. It was some good times. I can remember it all. I can remember um, the things that. It wasn't that long ago. Remember, I think I told you about this morning. How segregation wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Think about that. I wasn't even born here for that. 60 years ago. Just here. 
they used to have signs at the same probably these one of these old ass stores right here or gas station probably wasn't in the gas station or something else and it would say colors on the over here whites here you see what i'm saying 60 years ago i just told you something what 20 years ago 1998 is is how many years ago that's 24 25 years ago that's not that long ago and it wasn't like that when i was younger you know what i'm saying but then if you go back another 20 years another 25 years right in the middle of segregation see what i'm saying like you can't yeah like that's not that you see you see 60 more so because it was around like it was around like the 60s you laughing at what are you laughing at black people getting sprayed the segregation is when you couldn't even sit with white people that's what i'm trying to tell you, you couldn't even go to school with them you couldn't even sit in the next to them on the bus yay that you can't sit next to each other? Yeah. Do you know how different it is to talk about what mm, they, they talk about what I don't know. They talk about things that only mostly white people know. They, I, and then they, they expect me to know. Who? Me? No, the white people. I They ask me, do you know this this thing about what, what they talk about? Yeah, I say, I don't know. Is it? Everybody knows. What are you talking about? They ask you Black History, yeah. and you don't know it. Yes, only like, well, not only like, some Black people know that. They, they who? They, your teachers? No. The other kids? Students. Yeah. Okay, I figured White that. Students. What did they ask you? I they, told you. They, they asked me like, do you do you know about the picture? The what is it? Yeah, who is the who is that? The picture. Like yes, it was a picture. Like yeah. slavery or something? No. They try to see if you know about them being the white people having make having slave owners and colonizing? What? No, it's nothing like that. Nothing like nothing. So you said they asked you questions. Like, no, they asked me one that 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 I don't know and I think only white people know only well, white people know right. only thing white people know is whatever they go through every day they ain't, white people, we could all know the same thing they know and they could all know the same thing we know just like they they won't know what it well, feels like to have people, well, well, they won't know what it feels like to be black and we won't know what it feels like to be white that's all that they know that we'll never know Yeah, I said no. They said everyone knows. Knows what? I forgot what they. Oh, so me. it don't matter then. It probably wasn't important. That's how I look yeah, at stuff. You tell me. Anyway. So it bothers you. I would. When you do remember, let me know. Because, like you said, if, if I told you, she said if that stuff happens. I told. You, I be having people, grown people, that ask you, ask or tell me about stuff. Like they'll talk about stuff. They'll talk about. On Christmas. Yeah. You remember it? Yeah. No, it was on Christmas. I still was. They talk about like, something to do with a picture. And the thing was. Kevin, and yeah, that's all we've been so far. Name is Kevin. He's a picture. Background was rainbow. And yep, this is exactly yep. going where I was about to say. And I'm glad you let it go. But good, I'm listening. And You're gonna keep dealing with this, I said. For probably for for a long time until you leave the state of West Virginia, because. Oh no, it's Drake. Yeah, his name is Drake. And it's too, and look, I'm glad, so look, Drake was in this same thing, I didn't know Drake was going to be in this, you're going to be dealing with this, not only in West Virginia, but probably for a long time after that, because it's just where the world is going, like, you kids care about, I, I tell you that every day, the kids care about people, they care about famous people, the clothes, clothes doesn't mean nothing, 
And that's what it was that black people used to always show. We used to buy stuff to make us feel better. Because when you be coming from the ghetto, you ain't got nothing. So when you get a little bit of money, you buy clothes, you buy the nice and stuff, it make you feel better, you look cool, you in front of all your people, you showing off to your people. You ain't going nowhere else looking like that. The cars, you buying nice cars and living somewhere that's well, you know, with a bunch of other people in the building. So that's what I'm saying. Like that stuff doesn't matter. That stuff never mattered. And now look how they talking to you. Name is showing you pictures of Drake's and Karen's. Karen is something brand new, something that wasn't out when we were younger, something that just came out 20, yeah, like 2020 with during the pandemic. Cause that was the same time, or that was 2019, something like that. That was the time when around everything was being shown in the news that white people, white cops was killing black black people. Like we already knew it was happening. It been going on. Like it been people, we, me and your mother, we been knew that. But they just been showing it. It's been happening more and more across the country. And then we started having riots all over. Our people, black people, young people, was going out there breaking into stuff. That wasn't doing it because y'all was trying to get back at the police. Y'all was just doing it to do it. Destroying places. For the wrong reason. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a backwards thing. Like, it's just because the music and the stuff that y'all care about. And look, he coming to you talking about Karen. And Karen was something really important. What happened? That was really important. Huh? Karen. I said, I don't understand you. I'm saying Karen. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, you know what I'm saying that? Yeah, I just want, I just wanted you to say it, and then I would tell you. I said Kevin. No. It was Kevin. Okay, so, so. And then you brought up Drake. Because I was saying, if it was Karen, because Karen, I told y'all where Karen came from. I told y'all where Karen came from. Karen came from stuff that black people already know where a white lady was in the park and a black dude had to pull his phone out because he knew that she this bitch might start lying on him so he had to pull his phone out and record her and say look I'm not even touching her but listen to what she's saying she's saying all oh, this and that she calling him nigga she's saying it don't matter if you got that I'm white they're gonna believe me they're not gonna believe you you see what I'm saying she's saying that and he like yes I'm so glad I got this on camera camera you see what I'm saying like that's a problem that's what we gotta go through people do that when they know that you you ain't nothing to the rest of the world. They could throw that on you, and it would work, even if you ignore it, like you said. But what you did, the right thing is by letting me know, so I can keep we can keep playing your keep your self esteem high, so you don't gotta worry about it as you get older, and we could deal with it together. Cause you ain't gonna deal with that by yourself. She said, hell no. You gonna let me know, and we can, we gonna deal with it together. You know what I'm saying? Cause it becomes if I feel like it becomes a problem, then we'll bring it up to the school. Uh, to, the, to that, you know, to that parent, because that's not that's not how it was happening. It's not with us. Like I don't understand why James got friends doing gay stuff to each other in the classroom. Hey. You more serious? And I told James that we're gonna work on it though, so I don't want to put that on my baby. Look. See, look. Look, 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 that's so funny. Look, look, out of everybody, look, the immunity, psychology. So I got hers in a bad way. I think that's what the red means. Conviction, I got his in a bad way a little bit. I think that's what the red means. Well, I didn't find it yet. I think is that hers, I, this is this is uh, my mother. I still got technically, I think they say he, she did. I don't know, they confused me. Um, this is that girl. It says hers is to be discovered, but I could have sworn I found hers. Like, what makes her... Like her, um, wait, it just said his was, it is, okay, so it's two of them, manual, wait, what in the world, what's happening, good dog, uh... oh my god, see, I'm confused, okay, so this one, I have his, oh, yeah, I did get his trust, I did do good with him, oh, that's right, see, cause this dude, he saw, he never met, we never seen each other before, and we got up at the table like real well, men. Like we had a meeting together. This is what this game is about. It's about the council. Important people that nobody know about. But they meet up once in a while and have dinner and talk about stuff and share information. So it's kind of good, but at the same time it can go bad because, you know what I mean, it's still some backdoor stuff going on. Meaning like, you know, this country has somebody spreading information that nobody else knows about. And it's not just this country, it's all the countries. Because it's kind of like 
we keeping each other ahead of knowing what's going on with everything like it's kind of cool it, it is real cool if you in it but you know it's kind of shady because you don't know all your chase is one person to mess it up by spreading this information or destroying something because they know a little bit of too much um but in our case his mother is one of the members and his mother's his mother is one of the members and you gotta go you is it's, you're already trying to figure something out from a bunch of people who could keep a secret Out who did what and what happened because you know nothing really we don't want to spread what happens here so basically when i met him yeah we was having dinner and we never seen each other before so we got up and spoke somewhere else and i did good i answered all his questions right i spoke to him like like it was a that was a that this game is fun i didn't mess up and then it's with him see that's why his is green too because i did bad with him like that's why they show this one what the other one at Okay, well, I did. see, I did do bad. I did do bad with him at first, cause I lost. He punch. He wanted to punch me and beat me, but then I, I went and got him back. I told you I got him back, and then he he respected me more. So I technically did win that. Do better with that one. And hers, I got her too. I, yeah, I remember doing good with her too, cause she wanted, to, she wanted to have a baby with me, but I said no. She damn near did. Like this game is nasty too. But we ain't gonna get into that. Him. Um, yeah, that's the same dude. Okay, so yeah, now it's making sense. Servant, did I do good with him? I mean, he didn't really. Ha he just asked. I, he just answered my questions, so I can't really say. Yeah, I think I did do good with him. I, I did bad with George Washington because he don't visit. George Washington. Yeah, he looks crazy. He's, he's, he's dead though. But th no, this is a video game. This is back then, back when America, when America first started. You get it? He's the president of America. Why is he somewhere else? You know, when nobody knows you at, with a bunch of other people in the world. This is a cool, this game is cool because it's saying like, it's saying like, America just started, but look at all these other people that come together to meet, like all across the world. You listening? This game, I, I, I like that. Because I'm pretty sure something like this did happen. George Washington, they said it was, you know, that man had a lot. I'm still learning about him, but. He had a lot. Who you want to go to? Um, see? Emma just said the, the girl in with the ma the white mask on. I, I can tell her eyelashes. I looked at her eyelashes. And then I saw The girl her. with the white mask, you said? Yeah, look, look at the eyelashes. And they're back to the one with the mask. They're at the bottom of George Washington. See? And we can kind of see the black makeup. Yeah, so you're saying that she's a servant. Um... And she just dyed her hair. Or she put a wig. Actually, it kind of looks like her. Oh, it kind of does look like mom, but her skin, I don't know, like they are, kind of look like him too, but that's the thing, when he has a beard, three. definitely oh, not her, yeah. she got man. beat up, she always getting beat up, that's why I'm mad that he mad that I didn't help her, like she always getting beat up, so, somebody always, what, why do I gotta help her this time, why the <laughs> but, whatever the kids are showing you sister, like you said, you ignored it because you know it. This is a, this is a distraction. They want to get a reaction out of you. I'm telling you, that's all it is. They want you if you if it made you if you didn't like it, they want you to get up and hit them. Get up and have a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? For real, I'm serious. And the only thing I want you to ever respond like that for is if you're being hurt or if you're being you know just being hurt. For real, for real. I, don't need, I told James if you being Disrespected like real bad, yeah. Who? Who said that? You're not even on the bus. The nightmare painted by Fusilli in 1781. You knew that. 
He's not going to tell you to hit somebody. He can't tell you to. That's it. What are you talking about? You know that. As an adult, he he did the right thing. Yes. He technically don't hit nobody no more. Yeah. Same with you. He told the other kid that too. It's not just you. So don't take it seem like he did nothing wrong. He did the right thing. Don't hit nobody. Um, that's how we gotta tell y'all. Like, we don't want y'all to, you know, be punked and, you know, bothered. But we have to tell y'all like that. Don't. We have to say that. Oh, I can't jump. Why is it more than one? TV it because it's gonna mess up the, the video. It's gonna start echoing. I wish you could hear what was going on. Your Eminence, yes. I imagine that you've heard the news about Miss Adams. Oh, what a tragedy, my son. How could uh, such a thing have happened? That's exactly what I'm trying yeah, to find out. Boys. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night? Mm. I saw the young French soldier, Bonaparte, I believe, hanging around near Miss Adams' room. But I would not want to get an innocent man into trouble, Louis. It's probably nothing. Yeah, it always goes up real, real fast. Rub it on your hands, I said. Rub it on your hand. Get some more and rub it on your ear, the back of your ear, the face. Just rub it in. No, just rub it in your hands together. What are you doing? Do what I'm saying you do. Rub it in your hand and rub them on both ears. Just back behind them. Yes. Do both. Just rub your ear. What she said. Rub your ear and get uh, get behind it. Move this out the way. Yeah. Get behind it. And then come down here. Exactly. It may be dry back there. Like I feel like maybe if your skin back feel like it's dry or something. Why is this one? Why is this hair just messed up? Because it it don't have a cut on this one at the back. say I really don't know but I really think because the doctor told you uh, they never really said it when you was younger I want to say you was being around when there was like smoke around not even like in the same room just it being in the same house period because we were staying at your grandmother's house me and your grandmother it was about to come out of the shower. And that stuff that's, happens. That's what's messing but, with your ear and your throat and your nose. But what happened? It just like. When was it about to come out? In the shower where I get going. Like, Today? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, it did. Who said that? You, no, you said that? No, I felt it. And then it just went back in. What do you mean you felt it? It was like right here. Like, like right here. So let me see. So we get okay. Yeah, I felt the touch. And this. then, and then what? It, it then, it then. You was in the shower, right? Yes. So you should have like. And then when I put water in it, then it started to come out. 
That's good. It's about to come out. That's actually but, really good to hear. Yeah, but if you think when I put the wood inside, say if it don't in my ear, they do say most of all the time, it came way right out. They, they, something was pushing it back out. It's probably just you, like, thinking your muscles and you, like, is making your head and you're probably, like, moving it. It's not like you're doing like, it on purpose. I it's just, you're excited, you feel it, you feel it, and you you know what's happening. Just that you, up. I know, I, I don't I don't know, but I know you know what you're talking about, sister. I believe every word you're saying. I'm just saying that when you're feeling it, it's like with me, like with the problems I have. When it happens, your brain starts going like, okay, I need to, I, I, I was ready for this. I, I need to, what do I do? Like, I need to start relaxing, kind of. You gotta relax a little bit, and then, I know, no, 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 I'm not saying you aren't trying. I'm just saying you just have to. Like take your mind and just like do this, like sit and just work and just pay attention to breathing. That's what I say when you relax. Like literally do this. Do it now. You don't even gotta move your chest all crazy. Just make the noise too. And literally. And those two breaths that you did in your nose, breathe in your nose, in your nose, breathe in, breathe out your mouth. Literally, those three within that time, that's called relaxing right there. That literally, you're literally making your body relax because you're making your body focus on the process of taking air in, filling up your lungs, blowing it right back out. That is that takes a full focus to do that. And that relaxes the entire body, and during that time, it might come right out. But you could, you can even do that in the shower. But if you're in the shower, just you know, be quick to turn the water off real quick. Stand there, hold on to something so you don't fall, and do it real quick. Just do a quick in and out. That's just a, just a, that have you some calm down. I got I went behind the water, like that's why we. It's not it, wet. And then yeah, it don't drip. Well, it do drip sometimes. But then and I and then I just. Stand and just wait it like, for like a few seconds to calm down, and then I went back. Mm -hmm. And then when, and then when that happened, then it feels like something. And then it feels like something behind my tooth. Like they push it out and push it in. They do they they is they. they a lot, a lot of wax. They behind it, they, they hold it. All right, so what I can do? To my ear, what I think? Grabbing the tube. You don't want to put that in right now? Or we gonna wait till later? It's eight o'clock. You about to go to bed in like an hour? You wanna wait till you about to go to bed and do it? No, I usually just wait till like nine. Why? You don't want to do? You don't want it now? To get out of the way. Okay, that's fine. You sit there. And then when I saw that go upstairs and the accident, then they just start bothering me. Damn. So it bothers you at school? Yeah, it bothers me at school. Yeah, it bothers me at school. Yeah, it bothers me at school. Yeah, it bothers me if you don't have a fever or if you're not sick, it's good. You can go back to your good and you can go back to no, she's actually very, very right because the fever is the part of us that heats up and makes your body get real hot. That's the, because your body is trying to fight off something that's about to happen to you. Like either something, whatever it could be. It could be anything. Your body makes your body, your body will get real hot. Like that means your body is trying to work extremely hard at figuring out or stopping whatever is about to happen or, you know. And so that's a really outside, good thing. Like yeah. And then I did. And then when I was running, I was not even tired. And then I just, then I started to get slower because it just like, I just start, I just started to get slower by, and then I just stopped. And then I was like, I'm not even out of breath, or I'm not even, uh, or I'm not even tired. And I, and then I stopped. That my legs just really stopped running. Why? 
It ain't my body did it, but I did. I think inside I was tired, but outside I was not for some. Then my legs was tired, but I was down. So that be me. Oh, okay. That's not nothing normal. You making me worried, she said. No, as you know what that is? I think mean, we gotta get back outside. It's been cold. We haven't been as active and the only time you're active is when y'all go to school and then y'all just started getting gym. I mean, y'all didn't have gym like last year and it was cold, so I wasn't going outside to play. And when y'all play inside, y'all not probably running as much. Oh, yeah, we were but not as but as I was just saying. Exactly. Like running, you you just had this your first time running back again in a few days. So yeah, your body your brain, you have ambition. You're ready to always go. So once you got the chance to go, your body was like, dang, I can keep going some more. The only way to beat that is we just got to get stronger. Then our body will literally take us wherever our mind will want to go. So we got to keep training. That's all that is. You need to be putting that on. I don't even want to put that one behind you. That don't feel better? It do. This is I, I mean, I figure if you're going to keep rubbing it, don't at least you could rub it with some, some moisture on there. Oh, it was way too much here, so I was like, Probably. So really, the hole. Well, it holds when it's about to come out, but the hole. Do you know that? You know that feeling when they, when you. When you're, I think this is how you live, feels like when. When you start, like when you start to like play and run all around, then like, your legs start to hurt, right? Uh, get tired. My yeah, legs hurt because I've been same. doing it for so long and I'm not working out, so I know why my legs hurt. And that's so I can't blame I can't blame nothing on my legs. I'm blaming on me doing too much with my legs. So it's like yeah, everything has a reason. And then why? And then when? And then they like, grandma grandma say don't do this. And grandma usually say, but mo don't do this all the time. She tells me to do this to my when it, when you like, feel something. Okay, yeah, you know that. Yeah. What are you talking about, sister? You know yeah, that. Yeah, she told me to do this. Okay, but that's what's up about that. Yeah, you've been doing me. it for a long time. We yeah, okay with that's, that? That's why. That's why I do it because she told me to. Okay, and there's nothing about that, but we it's about to come out. No, so that it's about to come out. That's I hear it. This. Literally, almost came out today. I hear so I think when you feel that again, mm -hmm. you can just call somebody, yo, I know I'm down here probably, but if you call next time you get in the shower, wait when you get home. Don't get in the shower right away. You know what I'm saying? When, I, when, when I drop you off tomorrow, don't go get in the shower. Wait until your mom gets here or wait till I get back, then get in the shower. And then when you get in, do take it normal. And as soon as you feel that again, I'm going to have a tweezers or have something ready to grab it. I'm not going to pull it hard or nothing but I'm gonna just hold it there and then just maybe slide it slowly out because you say you felt it right there that's all it needs is just us to catch it it's ready to come out the water everything is being done right we've been taking that like we're supposed to everything we I'm glad we've been doing what we're supposed to do is finally coming out good because I was worried I met a bunch of people saying that it comes out a lot sooner for other kids and I'm tired of seeing you go through that because I just know when I get a little earache it hurts me I can't even imagine what you're going through. And then I try to do this. Don't bother to do this. And then it starts getting worse. But I don't do it. Okay. Yeah, I have to do this. Or you would just start holding it more. That's why I'll be like, that's why I was behind you doing, you doing, when we were doing my homework yesterday. Yeah. And you saw me doing that when you tore around. And then, and because I was whole, I was not doing it. But at the time when I came in, it started bothering. And I it on. And then, it started to Let 
That's right. It's coming out soon. It's coming out real soon. No worries. When I do this, it might, it might not, it, this might not sound like it, but then I still like, hear this. When I do this, and then when I, and then when, and then when I, so when I like speaking out, then I hear this. Like, like a, like a ringtone. You need to be spitting all that out. Like a ringtone. And then, then, if that happens, I close my eyes. Mm -hmm. Go sleep for a few minutes or seconds. And I wake up and stop. And then, and then, and then when I hear this, and I feel like I hear the basement. I mean, you're very young, you probably can't, and you probably hear, like, your heartbeat. Um, I know if you cover up your ears... You can listen to your heartbeat and just you're just listening to yourself. You're in tune with certain stuff. It's not wrong with that. Just um keep chasing what that is. That's all I can tell you. Cause whenever I hear stuff, Lord knows I definitely keep trying to figure out what it is. You know um this morning how you had to keep on calling me, they dad saying to me, since you wake up, dad keep on dad told you that a lot of times I like you did. You were asleep. Yeah. I, yeah. Most of the time, I would mostly just get up. Yeah, and what that, happened this morning? That, that you called me a lot of times I was still asleep. And then, every time I was here, and, and, and then, while I was having my dream, I could even hear the sound in my dream. Yeah, I made sound in my dream. And then, and then, I, and then I was like, what is that? You don't hear no sound in your dream? I do. Oh, no, they, I make sound in my yeah. dream, and then I hear this. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, what is that? And then I woke up, and I was like... It sounds like you probably hear your pulse or something. Like, I don't know. Like. And then, and then David said, why, why are you so sweet? Well, he said... Mm -hmm. Is that, I mean, sister, your pillow is like half soaking wet. So, wet. You, um, then I push hard. Don't push. You feel that. That's a pulse. That if you ever see. Check if you're excuse. You can check if you're excuse. Yes, it's one here. It's one there. It's one here, and there's another I one. I thought it was like right here. It's That's too high. Right. It's another, and there's another one. Like you, you check and if a baby like right there. But um, that is probably something you've been hearing. You can feel it for yourself too. You just gotta put it. You just that probably that's at the same pace of what you're hearing. Mm. Mm. It sounds like you're like just really listening to. You're listening to. And then I did so excited. Something that's moving. Yeah, I did the tie that where I did excited like this. Like this happened where I did excited. Like when we open presents, I was like, and then I was like. Yeah, I can easily feel it. It's like what I'm actually doing it myself. Like, what do you do it to do it yourself? It's like I'm doing it to myself. But we make that sound, it did very annoying. So I start making sound on my own. 
and then I don't hear it. So, yeah. That's why you hear me playing music. And, and then you say, why are you playing music? I say, and then when you was walking away, you say, huh? And then you say, why? And then you was walking away, and then I say, because mm, I hear this noise. Does it happen at school? It might be something in the house and you just you're really relaxed. Um I mean you just probably just, happens when I get tired, but I don't feel tired. Yeah. But I don't think it's a bad thing happens. though. That's I just think you should look happens. at it like next time it happens, one thing I try to do is Whenever something like that happens and I know what happens, I try to, like I said, relax. But not just breathing, deep breathing, not, not even do that. Just sit, keep sitting there. Don't move. Don't even lay in your back. Don't switch nothing. Just stay exactly how you are, where you feeling it. And then just, you got to listen real quick. Wait. If you feel, just feel your body. Like, don't feel. Just take a second and think about, is it hurting you? You see what I'm saying? Do your, does your head hurt? Does your back of your head hurt? Does your neck hurt? Like, is there somewhere? Is your chest hurt? Does this part hurt right here? Like, why you laying there? And you're like, you hear that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that once you're hearing it, now, now you're just like, okay, that's annoying. But does anything hurt? Like, does my eyes hurt? Does does the the back of my eyes hurt? Does my the inside of my face hurt? Just yeah. just think about does anything? Does the inside of my brain hurt? But just think about anything while it's happening. Is it shocking you? And then if that's not happening, then just do that every time. If it keeps like every time you feel that, you hear that, do that every time. Check yourself, assess yourself, and see if you're in pain. And then once you realize you're not, if then you can start doing like this. Okay, what is in the house that's on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What outside that you might hear? Because y'all up in the second room in the, in the other side of the house. And you, you're hearing it early in the morning. I don't know what you could be hearing. You probably get hit a light. Maybe the light bulb makes a noise. Maybe it's something right outside that window that makes a noise. It's definitely, it's definitely I'm, just, just, I'm just trying to get you to understand. Like, you got to try to just try to think. Like, do exactly what I said. See if it's anything give you pain. And then go ahead and jump to something like that. And then try and figure out what's, what's happening. It's very important. Because that keeps you just focused and understanding that, yeah... You know you're still fine until it gets to a point if you're hurt or something like that which I'm not saying you will but It's almost 8.30. Do you want to put it in your ear now so we get over it? I mean, no, do you still don't really want to? I mean, no. Because if you want them done later, when you ready to lay down, if you know that's better, I just make sure we don't forget. So why are, you, why are we doing it before you go to school then? We shouldn't do it before you go to school. That needs to be done, like you said, before you go to bed or something. Yeah. Not before you go to school, so you don't go to school with feeling that way. And then maybe I'll do it. Mom said they do it in the morning. For some reason, she said it can't be doing the afternoon or some other time. Because you want to start your whole day. I get it, but... I don't know. I mean, you was getting there at night too before.
of the pills for James that he had to take, and she hold it, and then when it started to, like, when James needed it, he had to go to an office, and did it. You need to spit that stuff out. You need to drink some water or something. Since yeah, like you keep drinking that. Like you gotta spit that out. This medicine? You want them to do that? At school? Cause you may need it at school. You two are the ones that that took away the pain. For you. So you still in pain? Might just have to buy that in the morning. It hurts. So what time you hear it at night time, right? Go ask your mom if you could get the drops tonight. Here. I said it in the morning. And then, and then ask her if she has any. It's not like you getting sick or something. You just keep making the disgusting coughing noise. Yeah, I'm trying to get it out. You're not. You keep spitting and swallowing it. That's why you want me to do this. That's why you want me to do this. Because I didn't have to cough. I just had to do it with everything. Like you. Yeah. So you need to be spit. Yeah, I just call Paul and then spit on me. I know. <coughs> Can you not do that to me? The way to get that out is drink water. You need to drink water. So what do you want to do with this again? Ask your mother if you want to get it tonight. Yes. What, sister? What? Come on, talk. Mom said. Talk, come on. Yes. What I'm saying? Okay, so you can get it later then. Because y'all are confusing me. Like, I just want this to go away. So, you gotta do it now. Why do it now? She said it's not time for bed. Yeah. Tell her what you just told me, sister. Like, that's you gotta talk. You gotta let us know. Uh. But if I were you, my son, I would talk to Monsieur Peru. You remember how violently he set upon Miss Adams. Oh, don't worry. He's on the list of suspects. I've come to speak about the findings of the investigation, my lord. I'm listening, Louis. Will you remind me of the facts we already know about? Elizabeth Adams was killed last night.
I believe I've identified the murderer. Really, Louis? All right, then. Please, think carefully before you give me your answer. This is a very, very serious accusation. I'm going to need a bit more time to review my findings about the crime. I do understand. All the more so, as it's crucial not to make any mistakes when it comes to naming the culprit. Soldiers, um, my um, Adam, um, okay. I don't, I don't want to go and have a listen. Because I need to investigate these hallways. Okay, so they might not have another eye of me. To Riche. Greetings. It's fallen to me. Cut that... the crap! Get to the point. We both know why you're here. And have you got anything to tell me? What does it matter? It's too late anyway. Do what you have to do and get out. Everything's already written. It's over. Why is he behaving like the perfect culprit? What is it that's already written? I'm not sure I follow you. No, you don't. Hmm. Oh, I like that. The Massacre of the Innocents by Rubens. I think he just felt like people were going to blame him anyway. Guess my room. It's not that bad. I'm not about to blame him. See, man, you put these dumb things out here. Massacre of the Innocents, but by Van Harlem. I think that Mortimer likes to play mind games with his guests. A pattern with four circles.
man, look how big this shoe. Y'all don't even know what that is. That is. Look past it. Is that one of the things that help you put in a shoe on? Look how big that is. My grandmother used to have a smaller one. It used to help you put a shoe on. You used to just put that in the back of your shoe and slide your foot in there. I remember that. I remember that. Dear friend, please come and join us. We must meet about the ongoing operations in Paris. A boat will be waiting for you in Calais and will take you to Dover in England. From there, a carriage will take you to the port of Tintagel, where a frigate will be waiting for you and other guests, so you can meet up with me on my island as quickly as possible. I await your arrival. That's what I'm talking about. See? He just gave me one of the keys that's in his own place. That's the first time. Yeah, I can see that it never happened before. I'm glad now I'm about to probably unlock something with what it's supposed to be. Records of the police. Notes intended for the police lieutenant of Paris. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris. And there's some well known names on it. This is valuable information. This shouldn't be lying around. Ooh, give me that. That's right. Daily record of the secret police. Yeah, I need that. How you just grab a book? <laughs> just put it in his pocket. Yo, I like that about this man. <laughs> I just grabbed a book and put it in my pocket. I've done it before. Pattern with four circles. I have a key for that. Give me. So I like notes, potions, whatever. Give me all of it. I like we open Dear these Monsieur all the Perrier, water, I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another 20 beds will soon be ready. The children and myself will never thank you enough. Long live the Republic. Long live France. Sister Marie Allen. All right, I've retrieved everything. All right, I've retrieved everything. To the right, the vulnerability up. Uh, excuse me, hey. Dear Monsieur, all right, I've retrieved everything. Yeah, so I'm talking about I needed all that that was in there. All right, bro. So, all right, have you finished? Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. I'd like to talk about the letter you're writing. What woman is it addressed to? I want to use this vulnerability. Who says it's a woman? I'm not saying any more. There's no point you insisting. What? All right. Have you finished? Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. Get right to it. Are you Elizabeth Adams' murderer? That is for you to prove, if I'm not mistaken, boy. You weren't expecting me to do all the legwork for you, were you? Lazy man. I gotta ask him again. I wanna ask him again. Goodbye, sir. We shall meet again. Probably. Oh man, I just 
wasting that on them. That was so funny. Great, honey. Oh, that's good. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for what? better. Give me that. Yeah, that, 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 no, that you could reach up this stuff in people's house. Start a mission. The Battle of Alexander Desus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. One holster and bone French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty.
My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powali continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are so unable say, to remain in the same you place. Put for more than years. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. Someone saw you not far from the victim's room. Can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. I wanted to warn her to be careful. You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste, and I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, the young lady slipped through my fingers each time. Now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. What an idiot I was not to insist. Mm -hmm. I could have helped her. Wow. She's sincere. I don't need no, I don't know. I've been studying him for a while now, and I don't think he was lying. Yet, I'm surprised how easy it was for me to read him. It must surely be his military side. I wish they all could be like that. My investigation would be finished already. Thanks. Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed. It is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. Can you tell me who was present at the game, please? Well, there were Lord Mortimer, mm -hmm. President Washington, and Sir Gregory. Thank you. Ah, and His Eminence Piaget as well. Excuse me, I nearly forgot him. Poor soul. Why do you always forget him? Did any of you leave during the game? Not that I know of, monsieur. I didn't exactly spend my time noting the other guests' comings and goings, but I don't think so. Thank you. Did you notice anything unusual during the evening? <clears throat> Nothing at all, except the luck of the devil of Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory at cards. Did they win much? Oh, la la, monsieur, they cleaned us out more like. But I plan on getting it all back before we leave. What time did the game end? I can't say exactly. As for me, I must have stayed until midnight. I was exhausted, couldn't think straight, so I preferred to go up to bed. On your way up to bed, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, not in the least. The whole manor was sound asleep. Not really, no. Have we finished, hey, monsieur? Exactly. Please. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day.
I just wanna find some stuff on the ground, like, come on. I wish I could run. I wish I could just go run. I used to love just running. I need it. I don't think I'm missing that. This is my room. Hold up. That's why I don't mind using stuff. Get Portrait it. of George Washington. My dear George, yeah. I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to show you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. <laughs> I understand your reluctance of playing with fire. I know your new country is very young, very young. but rest assured that I would do nothing to jeopardize what we have built together. I look forward to seeing you soon. Your friend, William. This game right here, it's too serious.
This game is too serious. Emily in Washington about trade deals. The English and the Americans are preparing a peace treaty. It would appear that Emily is in secret discussion with Washington about reopening trade between the United States and England. If such an arrangement came into being, France would suffer dearly. Looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. The English and the Americans are preparing a peace treaty. It would appear that Emily is in secret discussion with Washington about reopening trade between the United States and England. Is such an arrangement? Greetings, Lee. Mr. President, you can guess why I'm here. Of course. Lord Mortimer has sent me to ask you a few questions about last night. It's... How am I going to tell Elizabeth's father that she's dead? I know, Mr. President. I shall endeavor to find out the truth about this tragedy. I must ask you to help me, though. Please. Find the degenerate pig who did this, Louis. I'm talking to all the guests to find out who has an alibi and, well, who doesn't, Mr. President. Can you tell me what you were doing last night so that I can strike your name off the list? I spent the night right here, reading. All night? Exactly. I wanted to talk about some business we have in common. Anything whatsoever to do with Elizabeth? Not at all, <coughs> A business matter. Do you know why she came to the island? To get help, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that right? Indeed. Sir Gregory suggested to her father that he introduce her to Lord Mortimer to see if he could help her. It would appear that she wasn't invited to the conference. <clears throat> that doesn't surprise me. The poor girl was in no way concerned by our business, and she had no political clout. So, I don't understand why Sir Gregory invited her during the conference of his good friend Lord Mortimer. He must have realized that he wouldn't have much time to grant her. Preparing a conference does not seem an easy task. On the evening of our arrival, Lord Mortimer didn't even welcome us, what with his... The easiest thing to do is simply ask him, you know. Of course. Do you know if she had any enemies, Mr. President? Not that I know of. I heard about her altercation with Mr. Perry, but that case was closed, if I'm not mistaken. But if in doubt, I wouldn't leave any door unopened. And I'd go and question your fellow countrymen. Don't worry. 
Countryman or not, I'm not letting anybody slip through the cracks. Tell me, Mr. President, had you spoken to Elizabeth since your arrival? I don't know where to begin. You can't blame yourself. You, well, you couldn't have known that her days were numbered. I shan't keep you any longer, Mr. President. Feel free, Louis. If there's anything I can do, just ask. Thank you, Mr. President. Now, if you're not using it, How long did I just leave? I just just watched it. Okay, okay cool. He has Ubers. And this is Alley. Alley. And there's some dude standing out there. So I can check my room. Yeah, like, look what was happening to her mom. Her mom looked like she was just the demon. Why didn't they leave her mom like this? Man. Why didn't they leave this girl mom like look like this? Am I? Yo, I'm about to ask a dumb question. Am I a detective? Look at this one. I said that. I was like, this is some demon stuff going on here. Hey, that music. Oh, bruh. Has Sam finished with this room? No. no. I haven't gone over everything yet. Uh, sir may take his time. When Sam would like to leave, Sir has only to tell me. What? Why did I tell you? Yo, this game is awesome. Weird. I can't even leave. Look at all these markings on the wall. Yeah, she was on some devil stuff. It ain't nothing by ain't doing to her. My dear Elizabeth, I'm <clears> writing <throat> to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Damn. Adams. P.S. What? Don't hold it against your mother. She still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you will be able to put all of this behind you one day. Clock stopped at 354. If it was smashed during the murder, then I've just established the time of the crime. A notebook 
written in Elizabeth's handwriting. It is written in a mix of several languages. Not too easy to work out. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer matter to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last. I right don't want to investigate her death, Your loving man. sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't, don't forget to death, tell me man. what present you want. They didn't even let her. She just got all in the way. They want nothing to do with her. I'd conclude that it hasn't been used recently. Nice. Hmm. There's a few dried traces of blood on the grip. Difficult to know for sure how they got there. A tribute engraved on the barrel. To the liberators of France. Ooh. I know what right. it is. I shall have to find its owner. So, liberated as a friend. There's only one person that had that. 3rd of November, Frenchman. 1791. My dear sister, the cancellation of, of our reunion hit me like a stab now to the heart. Need to let us make Father sense. told me it was for your well being, but I can't See, help I but blame him. Story he claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. If only I knew where you were, they needed believe you to me, meet. That I'd be was at your side. Her, I haven't received any news from you in a long time. Please write. Your loving her. sister, Abigail. They had her on some deserted island as a secret. Piece of fabric. High quality at that. I'd say it's silk. <sighs> Going by the texture and the gray hue, it must come from a, a dress that kind that women of quality wear. been going on here exactly examine a symbol what's the connection with elizabeth i remember Mother's many book. esoteric yeah, rituals are based on this shape could elizabeth have been sacrificed during an occult ritual uh duh look yeah. okay, yeah. that's exactly what was she was doing vials of laudanum Science. Dang. Take a look at the vials. The label shows that this laudanum comes straight from America. I wonder Ooh. if Washington's involved. Oh, damn. Damn, I 
I'm pretty sure. Damn. The French gun. So the French and the Americans are on the same side. Sure. Blood spatter indicates that the murder must have held Elizabeth upright during the attack. Even if Elizabeth wasn't very big, I, I doubt she wouldn't have put up a struggle. It takes tremendous strength to overpower someone like that. Okay, that's right. So it's a man for sure. Lord, it was a demon, man. It was a demon, bro. Look what she was doing. She was in here playing with, with forces. Then what this one says? The same time? Clock stopped at 354. If it was smashed during the murder, then I've just established the time of the crime. The blade is short and thin. Well sharpened, apparently. It's covered in blood. Still fresh. The lower part of the handle is unsullied by blood. The murderer gripped the weapon so tight that there's no blood where he held it. The handprint indicates mm. a small and slender hand. Wow. This dude here. This dude here. Notice some stuff like that. Knocked over bottle of wine. I don't need to waste no science on none of this and all this and that. Kind of plunk is that? Hey, it's a Bordeaux. That's a Chateau de Brion. It's a great wine. I don't know what's happened to this wine, but it's undrinkable. No snap. Huh? Shut up. Poor girl bled to death. Whoever left that footprint has boats for feet. That's at least a size 15. Where's a size like that here? Peru? Washington, maybe. That's, this is crazy. I'm still gonna say it's a demon. Look at her. Somebody probably did try to kill her because she was on that demon. So look at the blood that she did. Maybe they got this on a video game? That's crazy, yo. This is not a game of kids, man, for sure. Wow. Wow. Blood, but right, we're gonna start no trace leg. of blows on the legs. Assault. More tattoos. Similar to those on the rest of her body. True. Yeah, similar to the rest of her body. That's all we need. You know what I'm saying? Upper body, arms, head, hands. Let's do, uh... There are numerous marks on the body. She must have fought like a lion. It couldn't have happened without a... There are also a number of old scars. Do so to release some kind of psychological suffering. By trying to master the pain, they establish their self control. Scarring, ugh. Scarring isn't very regular, but they're mostly from old cuts. I think the taste, uh, I guess what I'm talking about. Okay, so. I don't want to get Greek. I Let's see what it means. These are sacred chants intended to protect their bearer. <clears throat> but from whom? Or 
From what? No wounds, but blood on the right hand. Nothing on the left except that tattooed symbol. No marks or bruising around the wrists. Doesn't look like she was tied up or held by force. They shot out, gave me one little line for that. They shot out. I count no fewer than nine wounds on the thorax with a lot of blood. On first sight, I'd say that's what caused her death. Some of these tattoos are veritable works of... What's that? The skin between her breasts is different. Bloody hell! This tattoo was drawn on a page of leather and stitched onto her skin. Probably during what? childhood. The scars are anything to go by. It's the same kind of tattoo as on the rest of her body. What the hell? Oh yeah, this girl, she did need help. Man, I should have helped her, man. That's I see crazy. no sign of bruising on the skull. The only but clue is a scar from a previous craniectomy. Poor Elizabeth, she, she must have been very young when she went through all that. She also has old scars around the neck, maybe mutilations. She bled from the nose. Uh, why do I want to do all this? What a strange smell. I don't even gotta click on it and I'm gonna learn the clues. The core of the king, I'm gonna remember that. What are you talking about? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, I'm done. I'm really gonna go back at some point. That, that, that whole thing right there, that was. Especially with the word coming to my mind, but especially with not the word. Right? That was something. Um, so I only have a, a little bit of points left. I really don't want to spend it in here. I really don't want to spend it in here because I could, but I feel like I need to manipulate somebody else to get. Has sir uh, finished with this? I know enough now. Thank you. Yeah. Very well, sir. Sir may return whenever need be. I, gotta, I, I shall guard the door. Spots. I don't even know what I need to save it for. What? What did I even talk to you for to get out? I thought you were going to be gone. Now I'm going to talk Good to day, you. Monsieur de Richet. Mr. Volner, hey, are you looking for anything in particular? Next to Elizabeth's yeah, I was room? Wondering. I. I. No. No, I. Uh, nothing special. Uh oh. Uh oh. That he looks dark. You speak about him that what is he doing in the corridor? Don't tell him anything for the time being. You ought to go back to your room, as Lord Mortimer asked you to. And may I know why you yourself are not in your quarters? For very sad reasons, what? sir, which only concern Lord Mortimer, the only person I'm accountable to. Oh, well, look at you. <laughs> the new right-hand man. I see. I shall leave you now, sir. I will return to my room. Hold up, uh... I feel like I need to. I feel like I need to go to his room. Now. Yo, who is that dude? <coughs> see. Man, I did. I don't even know where to go.
Alright. Okay, I'm about to say. Um. Yeah, she was the player of stillborn. Brought up to today, says she grew up in a frail young woman with bipolar disorder. Okay, so, I mean, devoured by her terrible face of anxiety. Her deepest secrets were slowly gone away from inside. Despite numerous treatments, nothing could cure her. Cure her. There's nothing wrong with her. She just needs somebody to love her. The young woman continues to descend into folly. As the father of Jolly and the Lord has decided to send his daughter to Lord Manor in hopes that he could help her. What? With little hope, Elizabeth has now been at the manor for a short while. Look at the... They gave her that role for what? She was being... Okay, I can go on this one. Okay, who's on with this? Yo, who's on with this? Von Walner, the room of the counselor to the Persian? Persian King? Who? Who's this? Give me that, I need your couch. That's one. That's the seven us. The signs of obscurantism. Okay. Oh. Easy. Okay, okay. Let's see what's happening. Yes, sir. The signs of obscurantism. Basically, showing me all the stuff that was the sorrows of that young brother. There's a handwritten about. text signed by Von Werner on this first page. Dear Elizabeth, I know that this yeah, book is but a small token compared to the delightful moments you gave me, but I hope that this will nonetheless what? keep the memory alive. Your ever obedient servant. So, what? Volner had a relationship with Elizabeth, oh, but bro. that's hardly surprising given his fondness for the occult. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. The yep, table of alchemical symbols. That's right. Someone circled the zinc symbol. Chest locked with a four letter code. Surely a word close to the oh, owner's man. heart. Another one. I should have did this one. I should have did this last time too.
wish I could figure these out. I'm mad and try the other one. I don't know where the other one is at. So one of these The alchemist is a young man. Didn't I just beat them? That's why he was sitting out there. A fragment of amber. The alchemist so is an old man. Another alchemist return. Better the production, eh? The finest production out there. What can I do for you, Duriche? Monsieur, Lord Mortimer has appointed me to investigate the tragedy that befell. bed but I didn't stay up long I was tired thank you kindly okay. um, you have a good night then that's all Excuse me for asking, but did you know Miss Adams? Oh, she... Uh, not really, to tell the truth. No. What? I found the Verter dedication, signed by your hand, monsieur. 
Would you like to change your version now? Be careful, Duriche. Don't push your luck. My relationship with Miss Adams was pure and has nothing to do with you. We'll continue playing the detective as you see fit. But if I find the bastard who did that to Elizabeth, I will... Yes! I would have preferred a simple response, but I see I have Whoa. my answer now. Exactly. What was all that? What was all that? You loved so, her, didn't you? That is none of your damn business. Your feelings betray you, sir. So what? Yes. I loved her like a moth loves the flame of a candle. That's why we could never be together. We finished. I'll have a look around and then take my leave. Do whatever you have to do. Some bull, man. I can't believe I spent it. Dang! What? I figured it out, huh? Back on! Search it for one little thingy. I'm good at all that. I'm trying to survive these conversations. Probably intelligent out here. Don't even got me stuck. The bird is low. Good. Jacques Perru.
Mm, yeah. And that one. Damn. About to be here for a while. Oh, boy. Tending children at the orphanage in Harlem. I find it a little hard to understand this painting choice. King George III in coronation robes. Nice touch for the room of an English duchess. Dear E, I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should under no circumstances hamper Sir Gregory's plans. Decidedly, they have support from the highest level in Buckingham Palace. So here we both are, hands and feet tied, and little room to maneuver. Keep me abreast of events. Our mission is becoming more complicated. Yours, E. T.S. The French chapter of the Order doesn't appear to know anything about the arrival of our friend Sarah. I therefore cannot comment on it. However, my guess is that she has come here for personal reasons. Lady's Waldegrave by Reynolds, painted upon the request of the Waldegrave family in an effort to find them a husband. Displayed like meat, it's disgusting. Grammar of Port-Royal. Ah, the artistry of the French language and all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world, at least une partie of it. Duchess, we can inform King Dutch, King Palm, of the Holy Father's backing. We shall assist you with financing the recruitment of Reggie, of enough Reggie to fight against France, your friend. Recruitment of regiments of immigrants, royalists to fight against France, okay. His eminence. This is that dude, your friend. This is that dude. I need a wish. Two he coils that circle the lock. It's too you know about that? Queen Charlotte. All the royal fam a letter from William Pitt the Elder addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from fifteen years ago now. Madam. Man. I shall never thank you enough for all your care and attention. I shall be indebted to you until my last breath. If you have any request of me, you only need ask. With regards to my son William, I shall never thank you enough for looking after him. You know the latter's preferences, and you will understand he needs you desperately. For that, and as agreed with Queen Charlotte, our friend Duke Hillsborough will carry out his task and meet with you within six months. From then on, You'll be free from want. Yours sincerely, William Pitt, Count of Chatham. I 
didn't expect me to use up all this stuff. What can I do for you, Louis? I've come to see you about last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes, we all did. Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. No doubt she suffered greatly. Nine times? What monster is capable of such a horrible thing? Do you know what happened exactly? In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this case. <clears throat> really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Thanks. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? Uh, I'm talking to you now. I hear you were in discussions with the Holy See. Oh. I'm wagging. Well, you've been poking your nose where you shouldn't, sir. Even so, Emily. You're raising a royalist army. That's no small matter. And you are straying from the subject. Is there anything else you wanted to ask me? Mm. Watch out. Tell me, Emily. What's the nature of your relationship with Washington? Oh, come off it, Thanks. Louis. You're not going to go into a jealous come rage, off. are you? No, no, I can assure you of that. That has nothing to she do said, with it. Come off it. <laughs> I saw it. It doesn't really matter. Look, Louis, the President and myself are working on a number of commercial contracts. Nothing overly exciting. You're lying, Emily. These agreements come wow. into being. They'll break Franco-American alliances for the greatest benefit of England. In order to know. We found the murder weapon. What is it? A dagger. Quite slim. Have you found its owner? Not yet. Still searching as it happens. That said, since a blade penetrated the body several times, the murderer's hand will have been covered in blood. Mm. You think that's a clue? The handprint was a very slender hand, Emily. Probably that of a woman. Do you realize what that means? There are only three of us on the island. Bearing in mind that neither my sister nor myself had any reason to set upon the young lady, <clears throat> that means... I know, Emily. I know. Keep up your courage, Louis. I'm sure there's an explanation. You're bound to shed some light on it all. If what you say is true, Emily, I'm less and less enthusiastic about shedding any light on the subject. So, yep, what she just said is true. So three women dead. One of the women are dead. The other woman is her sister. <laughs> so you saying that is, is real. But that's why I said, like, it's not a lady. It was a demon. I'm not about to spend no money on this. What was over this shit? I'm now interviewing all the guests to establish the alibis for each person. Just so I can cross you off the list of suspects, can you tell me what you did after leaving my room? You know, the easiest way to find out what I was doing last night would have been to invite me to stay, Louis. But I shall answer you. I simply went back to my room and then to bed. On the way, I stopped off for a brief chat with President Washington about some business that concerns both of us. Very well, then. Thank you, Emily. Did you and Elizabeth get to know each other? Um, I must admit, Louis, I, I didn't take much interest in her. I feel a bit guilty about it, but I never actually spoke to her. She seemed burdened by her problems, and as she wasn't invited to the conference, I didn't really seek her out. Like you said, the only other woman, the young lady, why didn't you find out who she was? I'm 
I'm talking about. If I was a male, not the only other male, I don't think I'd be willing to seek the money out and need it. That's probably what I'm not going to do. I won't keep you, Emily. Thank you for answering my questions. See you, Louis. Duke Manuel Godoy. Greetings, Liam. Were you aware that Elizabeth took laudanum? Yes. She came to ask me for some. She had finished her reserve, I believe. What? Did she tell you why she was so desperate to get some, Mr. President? She said she had terrible migraines that wouldn't go away. More likely for the voices she heard, and not the migraines. Were you aware that Elizabeth took laudanum? Yes. She came to ask me for some. She had finished her reserve, I believe. Do you take it regularly, Mr. President? Unfortunately, I do, Louis. I still suffer from a terrible toothache, and it's not likely to get any better. I don't wish it upon you, but you'll soon see. At my age, it's rare to have no problems in that domain. And do you take a lot? A moderate amount, Louis. Only the dosage indicated on the prescription of my doctor. <laughs> Mr. President, we found a footprint at the scene of the crime. Not a dress shoe, I hope. That's all I wear. No, rest assured, it looks like the print of a big ankle boot. A large size, I'd say. Perfect. That should help you, Louis. It's a clue. <laughs> oh! He just kicked me out of there. Yo, chill. So I can't blame him? I'm trying to... Loki trying to accuse you. You like so. accuse who? Mm -hmm. Proper 
chocolate ass cookie is all going down. I do not like deep caramelized chocolate chocolates. Oh, this girl. Oh, wow. Let's do it again. We need to go back over here. I'm talking to both of these dudes. Sorrows of Young Werther. There's a handwritten text signed by Von Werner on this first page. Dear Elizabeth, I know that this book is but a small token compared to the delightful moments you gave me, but I hope that this will nonetheless keep the memory alive. Your ever obedient servant. So, Volner had a relationship with Elizabeth, but that's hardly surprising given his fondness for the occult. I don't know what I'm talking about. Mason, who believes in a lot of stuff. Oh! I know I missed a bunch of these already. Right. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Yep. The signs of the zodiac. How can I help, monsieur? We finished. I'll have a look around and then take my leave. Do whatever you have to do. Basically, as this is, I investigated her there. That'll be this part. Oh, I gotta go upstairs. I forgot. All right, I've retrieved everything. Have you finished? Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. I also have any. I'd like to talk about the letter you're writing. What woman is it? A woman? I'm not saying any more. There's no point you insisting. What? All right. Have you finished? Not quite. Okay, I'd I like you to answer a few questions. 
If you were armed the night of my arrival, can I see your weapon? No. You do realize you're not helping, don't you? You're making it worse for yourself. I know you were at the scene. We will save a lot of time if you just tell me what happened. You know nothing at all! Enlighten me then. For now, I have your footprint in a pool of blood. That's right! Yeah, one the only the... thing you can prove is one of my boots was at the scene. Congratulations, you've wrapped up the investigation. Because the way we kind of bounce back to. Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. No, you ain't doing nothing. As any good soldier would, I imagine you own a firearm. May I see it? Oh, well, if you really want to, here is my pistol. Don't worry, it is not loaded. Several of these? In Corsica, oui. But not on me when I am traveling. Only a bandit would carry such an arsenal. Thank you. <clears throat> Someone saw you not far from the victim's room. Can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. I wanted to warn her to be careful. You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste. What? And I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, the young lady slipped through my fingers oh, yeah. each time. I now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. <clears throat> what an idiot I was not to insist. Yep. I could have helped her. I gotta go upstairs. One game that is. I'm not about to go down. I don't feel like it. If he's sincere, did you realize? Were you able to recognize the prowler? Unfortunately not, no. It was dark, and Lord Mortimer was waiting for me. I was not really paying attention anyway. Excuse me for insisting, but if you saw him or her, I'm sure you would have more information than that. It's just that you don't think it can be of help to me. What do you mean? I don't know. Thanks. Was it a woman, for instance? Bearing in mind that all the women here wear whalebone dresses, which is rather noticeable. Uh, a man, I should say. I don't recall seeing the silhouette of a dress. You see, you saw many things, in fact. Hang on. Laissez-moi réfléchir. Let me think a minute. A wig? His height? The sound of his footsteps, maybe. Ah, his height. Oui, somewhat imposing. A tall man, and straight. As for the rest, I don't know, Monsieur de Richer. Not to worry. That's already quite a lot. Thank you for everything. That was not a lot. That's not one thing for nothing. Well, have we finished, monsieur? Exactly. Yes. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. Oh. 
What? Oh, I'm about to say, I've been looking for stuff out. Stairs that I'm thinking about. Uh, I've got it right here. Remember that? Yeah, right here. Let it go up here real quick. Let's see what I can do, guys. Uh, okay, so yeah. What did I get right here? These love blessings. 